In the winter time, we sprinkle salt on icy roads and sidewalks in order to de-ice them. But how does salt melt ice? Well, to understand this phenomenon, we need to know about the freezing point depression in a solution. Pure water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. However, water containing salt or any other substances will freeze at lower temperature. Why is that? When a pure solvent freezes, its particles become more ordered as the liquid becomes a solid, and energy will be released in this process. In the case of water, the hydrogen bonds between the water molecules make the hexagonal shaped network which is the characteristic structure of ice. However, when a solute is added to water, this ordering process is interrupted. As a result, more energy must be removed from the solution to freeze it, and that lowers the freezing point of the solution. Therefore, the freezing point depression is directly proportional to the amount of solute present in the solution. In other words, it depends on the molality of the solution. This makes the freezing point depression a colligative property. It means that a property of a solution depends only upon the number of solute particles dissolved in that solution, regardless of their identity. As you can see, the freezing point of a solution is always less than the freezing point of the pure solvent. The freezing point depression can also be explained in terms of the vapor pressure. Adding solute to a solvent will essentially dilute the solvent concentration and this leads to a decrease in the vapor pressure. Please note that at the freezing point, the vapor pressure of the solid form and the liquid form must be the same. Therefore, lowering the vapor pressure leads to lowering the freezing temperature. So, by how much does the freezing point change by adding solutes? Well, it can be calculated by the following formula. Difference in the freezing point is equal to I times K of F times M, where K of F is the molar freezing point depression constant, and M is the molality, and I is the Van de Hoff factor or the ionization number. Freezing point depression has interesting and useful applications in everyday life. When salt is put on an icy road, the salt mixes with a small amount of water over the ice surface and prevents freezing. If you mix salt and ice in a Ziploc bag, the same process makes the ice colder, which means it can be used for making ice cream. Yummy! Freezing point depression also explains why vodka doesn't freeze in a freezer. Vodka primarily contains water and ethanol. Pure water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius, and pure ethanol freezes at minus 114 degrees Celsius. Vodka does freeze, but not at the temperature of the ordinary freezer. This is because it contains enough ethanol which lowers the freezing point of the vodka below minus 17 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature of an ordinary freezer. Animals living in cold climates have natural antifreeze proteins or AFPs produced in their bodies. Antifreeze proteins allow cells to survive in sub-zero conditions. It binds to ice crystals in their blood in order to prevent crystallization. AFPs have been found in various organisms such as fish, insects, and other terrestrial arthropods. Coming back to de-icing the road, salting the ice road is the common procedure to de-ice the snow-covered roads. Sodium chloride, NaCl, calcium chloride, CaCl2, or magnesium chloride, MgCl2, are used most frequently either alone or as a mixture. Sodium chloride is the least expensive option, but is less effective because it only dissociates into two ions instead of three. What is the new freezing temperature after de-icing? Well, it depends on the amount of the de-icing agent. The higher the concentration of salt, the lower its overall freezing point, making driving safer. That's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.